we change the culture when it comes to the black community. And when I say that, uh, Atlanta, uh, we change the music and we change the fashion. You know, like you say, with white tees, you know, people wore white tees, but it was never a fashion before we dropped white tees. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And there was no such thing as a tall tee at all. You know what I'm saying? Before we came out, there was no such thing as a tall tee. The bigger the t-shirt got, the wider it got. The wider, yeah, yeah, You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Not yeah. the longer it got. <laughs> yeah, you see yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? And even the super baggy clothes. You see what I'm saying? And we, everybody start dressing the same way. If a few years later, you know what I'm saying, you take uh, Shop Boys, and me and Shop Boys all up from the same project. Us, Shop Boys, d 4 l Shotty Low, mm. all up from the same projects. Shop Boys came and made everybody start wearing skinny clothes. Rockstar swag, dude. Facts. Was people wearing European cuts already? Yes, but it wasn't a fad, though. Everybody was not the doing it. Hold up. Party like a rock star made everybody go skinny. You Facts. You think it was you, rock star? You think Party like a rock star made everybody go skinny. You think it was skinny. Tim Jones in them? No, it wasn't. You got to think about this gym. Them been wearing clothes like that. You got to think, L's my man. Them my dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, see yeah. what I'm saying? They been clothes like that. Everybody wasn't dressing like that because they was dressing like that. Everybody started shop dressing like man. that because Shop Boy part like a rock star. And they made an anthem. Facts. It still plays. Yes. And everybody went, every first everybody went um, European style. Yeah. Then everybody went skinny after Facts. European. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And and, and you got to think, Party Like a Rockstar was in a time with baggy, where it was still baggy clothes. Because you got to think, that, like I said, for my projects, yeah. they was wearing baggy clothes. So you see they, what I'm saying? did it for like the image, you think? Like... Just the part like a rock star, he was just yeah. part of the image. Then my homeboy Meany, Meany kind of really been wearing small clothes like that, you know what I'm saying, yeah. from the shop boys. So it was kind of easy, but that is what made people say, I'm going to start wearing fitted clothes right there. Yeah. The, the whole world started wearing fitted clothes after part like a rock star. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you got us with part with white tee and the baggy clothes, and you got shop boy part of rock star. And both all of us, like I said, all of us from the west side. So a lot of we we didn't just change the we changed the fashion and the music. So you, you how many people came out your projects? I, uh, uh she would have. Uh, the first person on my project was really really big was Kilo Ali. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Kilo is probably one of the biggest bass music artists in the, in the time. Um, then you had D for Will and Shawty Low, uh, me, uh, Shot Boys. I seen some. You said that it was called uh, Polo Palace music. Pool Palace music. Pool Palace, pardon me. Pool, yeah, Pool, Pool Palace, Palace music. So where did where did they change the snap music? Um, because it was um, I think what year, two thousand five, two thousand six. Uh, one of these years, two thousand five, two thousand six. It was like seven to eight songs from the top ten. All of them had snaps in it. Yeah. So the RAA uh, started calling it snap music to identify the sound because that's the, that's the only way they knew how to identify the sound. They didn't know what the hell it was. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But we never call it that because it ain't got nothing to do with the snap. White T don't got snaps in it. Yeah. Or I think they like me don't got snaps in it. I feel like it got mixed up with the crunk music sometimes, people, but it is a different sound. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, I think they like me. What about the when you do the dance, the snap dance? But see, if they say it's snap music, that don't got snaps in it. So how can it be snap music? Okay. If to, to their definition. Right. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? So you embrace it or no? I mean, it's cool. I ain't tripping. I mean, how many people got their own genre? Yeah, because you like y'all like the fathers of that, yeah. that genre. Yeah, who yeah. the fuck got a, who got their own genre? How many motherfuckers that came out and got their own genre? You and Lil John. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> T.I. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the trap music? Facts. Okay. And all, the, and all three sounds started at the same time. You think T.I. created trap music? Of course. Because it was like a controversy like T.I., Gucci. Of course. You didn't heard of Gucci before. You didn't know who Gucci was when T.I. was out. You no. didn't heard of G's before T.I. was out. You heard none of them. Don't Shout out to the good people down at Independent. Don't like